When doing a tail vein catheter in rats, you could use a venflon like this. It's basically a catheter with a guide needle inside it. I would suggest that you make yourself acquainted with, with the equipment before you start uh, working on the animals. Remove this one. And please be aware that there are actually two stoppers in the end. The middle one you will take away. And this one you will save for later. When you look at the catheter, you will realize that there is the catheter itself here, and inside the catheter you have the needle. It's difficult to see, but the needle is actually two millimeters longer than the catheter, which basically means that when you introduce the catheter into the vein, you will puncture the vein with the needle. And you will have to be sure that you puncture the skin and the vein for a couple of millimeters before you take the needle back. When you're inside the vein, blood will come out at the base of the venflon and you will pull slightly back to have the soft uh, tip of the catheter inside the vein. Then you can further introduce it, keeping the needle inside the catheter as you as you put it longer into the vein. And then you just go on like this until you have the entire catheter inside the tail of the animal and then you remove the needle. Then you allow the blood to fill up its tip and then you put on the stopper. Then you tape it and you test your system with saline. Please make sure that you have your saline ready before you do this. Again, make yourself acquainted with this. Make your hand-eye coordination work before you try to do this on one of the dummy animals.